Hang in, hello, let's play fans. It's Show Pal Berg787 back for a brand new episode of the one and only Darkest Dungeon. So, uh, yesterday is an episode we saw a bit of the Houndsman and such. Um, so, yeah, cool. There's Purville the Hound. Oh, no, that's not home. Oh, no, it was him. There we go. There he is. He's off uh, getting some shit sorted out. Can't remember exactly what I'm doing to him. I think I've got him in here, haven't I? Yeah, there he is locked up in the treatment ward. Um, in this episode, because as I've kind of been thinking what to do going forward, because I've beaten all the bosses up till now, well, we um, do have people to level up to level 6, because if we go to... Is it here? No, that's not the right place. Where do we... I always forget how to... Oh, it's here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We go to the caretaker. We can see that there is still stuff to do here. There you go. Raise all these people to level 6. So, kind of want to do that. But, it's a bit of a slow process. Oh, don't want to do that. It's a bit of a slow process. So, what I did notice was this. Check out this. It's a long champion dungeon. So, it's going to be pretty tough. That's for sure. Look at that. Ancestor's Portrait. Plus 50% Resolve XP, which is the stuff that gets your experience points up. That is pretty awesome. If I had four of those, I'd probably give them to people all the time. Fuck the combos. So, we're certainly going to be going after that. I mean, okay, you are more, you're less stress resistant and you get less of a virtue chart. I don't really care about that, to be honest. But plus 50% more resolve. That, well, someone can level up twice as quick. Obviously, what it means. So, we're going to go and do that. And obviously, we're going to need a pretty, pretty tough team to go on this mission. Uh, and I'm going to try and take people who aren't quite level six, who aren't level six. You know, I could take some level sixes, but. Let's try not to. So we're going to take Vavasaur. He's a level 5. We shall take... Which one of these two am I taking? There we go. It's Mallory. So we're going to bring along Mallory. We are going to bring a Belcott. And we're going to bring Old Man at Arms. Got Man at Arms up to level 5 fairly quickly, actually. Now that I think about it. Or maybe I didn't. I can't remember. But anyway, so we're going to go on this uh, long champion dungeon. I don't think I've been on a long champion before. I can't remember. Maybe I have, but, but I can't remember exactly. Uh, anyway... Here's what we're going to do. So Vavasaur is getting this demon cauldron like I always give to the occultist. But this time there is a new trinket here. Feather crystal. I did find it in the nomad wagon, which I did off camera. bought it. And uh, as you can see, plus two to speed and plus eight to dodge. That makes him harder to hit quicker, which is obviously really good. He's less resistant to stun and move, but I will take that for the extra speed and the dodge. Obviously makes uh, an awful lot of difference. Plus he doesn't you lose that plus minus one that plus one crit that he has on this. Because usually I, com I combine it with that speed stone and that lowers the crit by one. So... Pretty good that he keeps that crit this time around. Anyway, off to you, uh, Mallory. I've given you the Wounding Helmet, obviously, which I always give with Bounty Hunters. But this time I decided to go with the Bleed Charm. I don't know if I used that when he went on the boss mission using this. But I thought, you know what? Since I've got it, this Hook and Slice, it's not the worst thing in the world. Obviously, it doesn't really do any damage. But 5 Bleed is pretty good. 5 Bleed is a real hard hit. So I can certainly uh, live with that. Plus, with the new mechanic of Protection... You know, there are certain beasties which we're going to have to hit with um, with bleeds and stuff like that. Otherwise, it's going to be really tricky to hurt them. So, uh, certainly good to have someone, at least one person. We're going to have two on this one who can either blight and bleed. So, there we go. We've got that for us there. Uh, Man at Arms is taking this eye patch, which I also... I don't know if I bought the eye patch or whether I had it before, but the longevity eye patch there, plus to health, uh, loses 10% to damage, which is a little bit annoying, but we do have the uh, damage stone with him, so he's... Basically losing 2 dodge for plus 15 health points. And on a long champion dungeon, I think it's certainly worth him having as many hit points as possible. And finally, not least, at Belcott. So Belcott, we're giving her what we've given her quite a lot of late. The Bleeding Pendant, so plus 20% chance of a bleed skill, minus 5% damage. And that is combated with the plus 10% damage from the damage stone, minus 2 dodge. So basically, she gets 20% extra bleeding skill, 5% extra damage, and at a loss of 2 dodge. Good stuff. All right, let's go get some provisions. So it is a uh, a long, long dungeon. I'm not going to take super amounts of food, actually. I'm going to take that. I usually would take more for a long dungeon, but I've been finding that I've been getting enough food along the way with anti-venom and stuff like that. So, do, do, do. No, I don't want that. Plus, you can use medicinal herbs, as Gorgok did point out to me in the comment section after the last video. But I, ha I had already read... I just completely forgot about it. You can use holy water and uh, medicinal herbs like food. You can't use them when you when your characters are actually hungry. You know what I mean? But they can be used as food to heal up and stuff like that, which is kind of nice. He's so fucking ugly, this guy. I've only really just looked at him. Looks like he's got no eyes. I mean, obviously he does. He's just got very sort of overbrow, um, uh, what are they called, eyebrows. But man, is he a fucking ugly prick. Uh, I'm probably going to need more torches than that. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll go with that. Let's head out. 
that's not really an attitude you should have when going on a long champion dungeon actually ah fuck it we'll be fine it's probably the complete opposite attitude to what you should have you should definitely not have the fuck it will be completely okay because that's when you end up losing characters and um especially when you've got a bunch of level fives you don't want to lose them corruption has soaked the soil sapping all good life from these groves all right Let's burn out this evil Shh. there we go all right so 100 percent of room battles which means unless we get some nice scout arts we are going to have to go to uh, each room one by one hopefully as i said we'll get some scouts and be able to avoid uh, some fights. It's actually quite a good one to have on a long dungeon can, if you're getting scouts, which hopefully we will. You know, if you get a scout out, you can see where you need to go, where you don't need to go. Well, that's one shovel down. Ah, they have finally updated this as well. I've just noticed where it's automatically showing. Usually, it wouldn't show the amount that you could have that you had of all of these unless it was something that you could use at that moment. You see what I mean? So, like with these three that I can use at this moment. Uh, I can see that I had eight, but before the last patch, I didn't notice that yesterday when I was playing, it wouldn't show the actual numerical value of the other stuff you had remaining. So good good on Darkest Dungeon for changing that. Excellent. Move along, move along. Ah, the tree. Okay, let me have a little, let me consult my little compendium here just to see what to do with the tree. I don't think the tree's got particularly good stuff. I think it's something like uh, bandages or something like that. Uh, uh, it would be good if um, my compendium worked a little bit quicker. Uh, just looking through here. Oh crap, I'm looking in the wrong section. Which is always good. No, I don't want that. Hold on, sorry about this. This is what happens. Alright, well let's just leave it for now. I'll come back to it. Oh, we're getting to a fight, so we've not actually gone far from it, which is fine. Ah, I found it, the old tree anyway. It's anti-venom that goes there and gets me loads of loot. But we'll uh, we'll fight these guys first. So, as seen yesterday with these guys protection 50 so we really need to get some bleeds and some blights uh, well we don't have any blights we can only really bleed with her as well unfortunately because he can only hit the back people so need to get bleeds on him as quickly as possible we'll try and deal with her because he does have that protect which again annoys me that we can't keep is there a way if i hold shift no if i hold no all right so there's no way but anyway you see down there there's protection so we need to try and deal with that as soon as possible what i also will do what I also will do is... Um, do I want to put a curse on him? No, fuck it. I'm going to put a hex on him and hit him with uh, Corsume. Oh, no, it's not Corsume. Whoever that is. Whoever my bounty hunter is. Actually, I, I don't know how much damage that's actually going to do. It's Mallory. But we'll see. I suppose we'll find out. Let's put a bleed on. That was a nice bit of damage on that bleed. Uh, yeah, okay. Raise my stress. Oof, wow, that was a lot as well. Man at Arms is going to have to take care of that bitch. Come on, Man at Arms. Use that mighty, mighty, mighty retribution. Three? That was pathetic. That was, like, really bad. Oh, there we go. Ah, he missed. That was pretty good. I don't even know if he did any damage, but there you go. 14. All right, that's not bad, considering he's got 50% protection. Uh, man at arms, man. I was disappointed with that last hit. Hit better. Oh, there we go. You made up for it that time. I'll give you that. Certainly made up for it. Let's get another bleed on this howly bow. There we go. What we got to eight. It's pretty good. Uh, no one really needs any healing. Uh, you have already been marked, so let's put a curse on you as well. we'll lower that damage. Not that you were doing an awful lot of damage. It's more this raising stress. Oh, you missed again. Excellent. Don't often see that get missed twice, but um, I'm not going to complain. Bish bash bosh, motherfucker. Good times. All right. Puff. There you go. Super, and we got some more food. All right, we'll take all that jazz. Uh, yeah, anyway, so sorry, going back to here, it was... Um, is this the old tree? It is old tree, isn't it? Come on, can I click on it? Yeah, there we go. So the old tree, as I mentioned, uh, if I use anti-venom on it, it will give me three times any loot. If I don't use anything on it, nothing. I could get blighted at 25%, it could be nothing at 25%, or I could get 50% loot, like 50% chance of getting loot. Um... I really think it's worth it to use the anti-venom. Uh, so I'm just going to... There's a 75% chance that I don't get blighted. Who's got the best blight resistance here? 90%. That's pretty good. 80%. 80%. It's 80%. Alright, well why don't you just try and open it and see what we get. Sometimes... Alright, so it was that 25% chance that it was just what it was. So never mind. But there we go. Certainly adding to the game by me taking timeouts there to uh, find out what's what. Alright, there's another tree. Again, 
it's a 25% chance we get blighted, but then we still might resist the blight, as it's a 50% chance we get... So I'm not using the anti-venom on it. I don't think it's worth it. All right, this one is covered in poisonous sap, and we did get blighted, so I'm going to use the anti-venom anyway, which is... Uh, actually, no, I'm not. Fuck it. You can take two damage. Maybe it was worth it just to use the anti-venom. Oh, what? Was that an invisible trap? That was certainly an invisible trap. I'm sure of it. Alright, this is kind of why I didn't want to bring more than that, the food that I did, even though it was a long dungeon, because we're going to find loads of these. There we go. And we got another shovel, excellent. On a long dungeon, I always like as many shovels as possible. Take that, and you know what? Why don't you eat some food to negate what that, uh, what that blight did to you. There we go. All sorted. Mm, Alright, okay, I don't particularly like this fight, especially with you going so quickly, eh? Good, resist the bleed. Oh wow, this guy's got 67%. Wow, they've all got protection now. I don't think they had protection before. Alright, that's kind of annoying. Um, I kind of want to kill all of these pricks, but... Um, hmm. Alright, vulnerability hex on the big man. Because I can hit him with um, Korsume. Korsume, uh, destroy. 11, that's not really destroying at all. But alright, you know, it is something. Uh, retribution. Three, that's pretty pathetic, but, you know, hopefully if we get hit or something like that, you'll do some hitbacks. You bastards, why are you attacking the back guys? Four, wow, okay, that was pretty big. I wasn't expecting four blight damage. To stack there, alright, you've been bled as well, so that's pretty good. Oh, here we go. Don't get blighted again. Wow, eight, man, that's, that's pretty raw. Okay, at least you're hitting the man at arms. Come on, man at arms. Swipe him back. Four. That's not really a good trade off, I have to admit, but. Eight. That's motherfucking loads, man. I don't appreciate that. Alright, you're taking what? Four. How much health have you got against her? Oh, yeah, 14. Alright, so quite a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not really sure. What the well, actually, I am sure. Heal myself. There we go. Back up to full health. All right, you die. Uh, I don't know who to hit. Can't kill. Could kill, or at least do enough damage to get it to it will die from bleeding. So we'll try that. Three. Rubbish. Well, at least you're resistant to being bled. All right, come on now, collect that bounty. Seven. Uh, is that not enough? Four. Yeah. Okay. So he's dead. Ah, oh, that's certainly tougher now with all that protection. Rain of Blight. Stop targeting them too. Maybe they can only hit the one, them ones at the back. Oh wow, blighted both of them. Wish I'd taken more anti venom. All right, eat Biff. Yeah, we got a bleed on you at least. And you take another damage. There we go. Attack the front guys now. Stop blighting everyone. Not, not appreciating this in the slightest. Hmm. I kind of want to save this because I feel we're going to get another round of these attacks. And if they stack, I, don't, I don't certainly want to heal myself from them. Uh, meanwhile... Hmm. Not really sure who or what to attack. Let's get some heals in again. Heal yourself. Seven. It's alright. Got you back up almost to full. You, man. You need to do some better fucking hits. That's all I'm saying. Could you get that guy down to... Two, that's pathetic. Even I mean I know it's retribution that does less damage, but even that is not doing a lot. You hit him back? Yeah, there we go. That's kind of the only real reason to use it. Everyone is blighted. It's a lot of blights going on. Uh you will probably kill that. Yeah. Oh you missed how the fuck did you miss? Look, it walks on its hands. It can't be very fucking athletic or ag agile. Alright, you've got quite a few bleeds and blights stacked on. You bastard. Oh, at least he crit killed. Oh man, man at arms has got tons of stuff piled onto him. Were you taking six damage? Even that's quite a bit. Uh, we shall certainly use one of those. And um, we'll get a, blight, a bleed on you. I think you might be dead. No, you're not quite nine. Man at arms needs uh, needs it's gonna need some healing. Oh man at arms, there we go. Don't get bled. Yeah, cool. Reload his stress. Excellently resisted. Good. I don't want to get bled anymore. When's Man at Arms going to get another go? Never. Hmm. I'll leave it. Because uh, 
I get into another one of these fights, I kind of want more of these. And no one's at that dangerous a spot that I kind of want to waste more of them, basically. Uh, cue him. There we go. Alright, so you're gone. And that just leaves us with these arseholes. How much bleed are you taking? Not an awful lot. I mean, you've got a lot of stuff going on, so why don't we get rid of all of that from you? There we go. And smite that prick. Alright, that was a... That was a pretty tough fight. This expedition at least promises success. Uh, I don't really care about heirlooms, so we'll leave that be and we'll move on to the last room. I kind of hope there's a fight in there now since we, um, since we um, ha are having to walk down there. Alright, use that. We've got nowhere to stack this. Well, we do. we we'll just throw that away. Take that. How much more? Two more? No, fuck it. You can take a bit more damage. It's annoying, but we'll get a healing for you. Don't worry. Are you going to eat some food? There you go. That healed you up a bit. Oh, and hold on. We've got some more food here as well that you can eat. Nom. There we go. Fuck you, invisible trap. I think that was an invisible trap. Alright, please let there be a fight in here, because it'll uh, annoy me that we went all the way down here. Yeah, there is a fight in here. Alright, and it's just spiders. Okay. Oh, what are you all getting shocked for? Like, surprised. Arse wipes. Um, kill him. You left him with one bit of health, you fucking speckle. Not happy with that. You stun the man at arms? This old man stuns. Alright. You need to move back. Because I need you to get a healing on old Mallory. Fucking hell, Mallory's getting his ass kicked here. I'm on Mallory, you'll be fine. Don't spit at the old man. Oh wow, 16s. At least he resisted. Good thing I gave him all that extra health. Uh, can he actually attack from the back? He can defend. I suppose there's that. Um, <laughs> uh, God, you might as well use that. And power up. Good times. Yeah, spit more at the old man. Wow, 17. He's getting, he's getting his ass kicked. I need to get people... In different orders. Right, finish this chunk. There we go. Be good if we could fucking attack. Anyone can kill you if you can't hit them back. You move back. There we go. You move forward. Alright, things are starting to take shape again. Man, man, arms just getting licked with crits. Crits and hits. At least he didn't get stunned this time. Oh, man. Oh, shit. And he got, and he got blighted as well. That's a bit of a piss take. Deary me! Alright, well. <laughs> I suppose the luck we used up when we fought the uh, formless flesh or form flesh or whatever it is is uh, certainly uh, unwinding itself now. I said, and to kill it all off, yeah, it's only spiders. And then, uh, oh, well, well done. Zero health. I, I like that when you heal for nothing. That's awesome. I think I've got a retreat. Didn't even get past the first lot. Wow. Wow, indeed. I can't hit the back one. Right, okay, that's interesting. And you missed it. All right, let's let's get out of here. This has been a disaster. Retreat from combat. It's true. A wise general does uh, cut losses and retreat. What a what a what a disaster. Oh well, the ancestors' portrait. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm partly embarrassed, partly disappointed. But hey, things happen. Things can go wrong. And they certainly did right now. Uh, what's this? Fated. Replaced Warren's tech. Uh, Fated's kind of alright. I kind of would have rather Warren's tactician there. And God fearing. Uh, I don't really care two hoots about that. Mallory. Slow draw. Yeah, we're getting rid of that. Belcott. Uh, fragile. Yeah, we're getting rid of that as well. Death blow resistant is pretty good as well. So, alright, cool. At least we got some half decent things there. But theory, me, man at arms. I can still see their angry faces as they storm the manor. It'd take ages to get man at arms back up. They found me. But hey, yo, oh, that is uh, that's the name of the game. Sometimes Vavasor, you can't drink in here. All right, should have figured Vavasor. Hello. Actually, hold on, Vavasor. Hold tight. Is there stuff that I want to get rid of here? God fearing. I don't really care about getting rid of God fearing. Uh, and whilst there is stuff here that I do want to keep for you, uh, I would rather you reduce your stress. So head there, do that. 
Yeah, we're all good. Uh, who else was there? Mallory. I definitely want to get rid of slow draw. And we'll see which one of those I want to keep over there. So, hello, Mallory. Slow draw needs to be got rid of. Uh, scattering's alright. I mean, because he doesn't... It doesn't matter about his range skills. Night Owls, Poo Poo, Hard Noggins, alright. Slugger. I do like Slugger. Uh, Warrior of Light is kind of interesting, but Slugger, yeah. Okay, I wish you could keep more than one at a time, but alright. Here you go. Uh, and Belka. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stress. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I do want to remove as well. But let's get rid of this first, then. I always remember, because otherwise I'll forget. So let's do this first. Belcott, right, what do I want to get rid of here? Fragile, Ruins Phobia is kind of annoying. Actually, Ruins Phobia isn't that big a deal because you very rarely go to Ruins. But Fragile is certainly something we want to remove. And uh, Death Blow is it? Unyielding is pretty good. Slug is pretty good as well, though. And so is that. She's actually got quite a bunch of good ones. Hmm. Sounds a bit weird because it's the one that probably comes into play the least. But I kind of want to use that. I kind of want to keep on yielding, especially after what just happened. <laughs> I certainly don't want my people dying, so there is that. Uh, let's head to the stagecoach. Let's see if we can't get another man at arms. Um, there doesn't seem to be another man at arms available for us as of yet. But nay bother. Nay bother. We will be. Um, we shall live. We shall be fine. I, I'm just trying to think if there's other people that I want, that I need. Fitzhugh. Kind of wouldn't mind a lower level uh, Plague Doctor. They're kind of handy. Ah. I'm going to take another Plague Doctor. I've still got four slots available, so we'll take another play, Plague Doctor. Fitzhugh's a pretty cool name as well. I've got a low level Occultist. I've got a low level Vestial. I've certainly got a low level Arbalist. I uh, don't really need another Hound's Master just yet. Alright, okay, cool. Well, that's it. So, a bit of a disappointment going after the Ancestral... Uh, what, I can't remember what it was called. Is it still even there? No. But, um... That's a shame. I don't even know what it was called. I'll have to check to see. The Ancestral... Something or other. But it was awesome! It was so good! Now it's gone. Gone forever. I don't even know where it is. There's some cool stuff here. What's this? Uh, that's alright. The vesture with the profanes. Oh no, minus 30 to heal skills. No, I don't like that. Alright, enough of me just waffling on. Uh, I'm disappointed in myself. I lost the man at arms. Uh, these things happen. It goes to show that I am not just some sort of lucky pull defeat from the... Pull victory from the jaws of defeat arsehole. You know, I do get beats. I do have uh, people die on me and shit like that. So, there you go. But if you enjoyed that episode, please hit the like button. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Darkest Dungeon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.